Hello friends, what's up? So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a get ready with me on Sunday. I have, which is the day after tomorrow, I have a very special engagement party that I need to go to. So I thought that I would practice my makeup beforehand because I would get to see how my makeup's gonna look that day. And then I also get to make a video out of it because I know when I post pictures of like the outfit and the whole makeup done together, everyone's gonna want a tutorial anyways. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, my contact. I'm gonna start off with putting in some contacts. I haven't put contacts in in a while. Like I rarely ever wear them now, ever since I got my laser eye surgery. Not because I can't, but because I just don't feel the need to. I usually always get my contacts from lens.me and these are Solotica. And these ones are, I believe, the natural color Quartzo. I, my favorite is Mel or Ochre because those actually look super natural. Like these ones I feel like I can only get away with if I have a full face of makeup on. Whereas the other ones I can kind of just like wear them anytime. I don't know if I like these contacts. I think they're like a doing a little bit too much. I basically do the same look every time I do my makeup. I enjoy doing my makeup, but I don't enjoy doing like I don't I don't really venture out when it comes to like my eyeshadow and stuff guys because I have colored hair For me, I feel like whenever I do something too much on my face. It just looks like too much like it looks way too much like it's just so overbearing like my hair colors in your face and then my eyeshadows in your face and then i got these contacts that are in your face and then a, like it's just a lot so i try to stay away from eyeshadow and i do like my face but i'm gonna do eyeshadow today i want to do like a very soft cut crease like i want to like do a nude lid and then i want to do like maybe a gold or silver glitter up top I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Before I put my primer on, I want to put on this Milk Acai Face Milk. It looks very cool. It's by Fourth Ray Beauty. And I've seen other people try it. So I want to try it. It's kind of like, you know, I want to see if it's gimmicky or not. I'm going to let this sink into my skin for maybe like five minutes. And then we're going to move on to primer. I found some ochre lenses so I put those in for primer I'm going in with this new Urban Decay all-nighter primer it says that it is long wear and the foundation grips so I got a new foundation yesterday from Sephora and I'm super excited to try it I did kind of try it out yesterday night but I mixed it in with like a luminizer but I'm gonna try it just on its own today and I'm excited. Ooh, I shouldn't have mixed it. Okay, so she specifically told me, Rehab at Sephora, what's up? I know you're watching. She told me not to mix it in the bottle and now I mix it in the bottle. Now when I open up, it's just gonna squirt everywhere, which is so annoying because I'm wearing white pants, but it's okay. So I'm using the Dior Face and Body Backstage Foundation. I went in for the Air Flash because you guys know I love my Air Flash foundation, but I didn't end up getting that because I just wanted to try something new. I almost went too far. Dab it on with my fingers on each side and we're gonna blend it out. I've been using the Too Faced Born this way and I don't know, you know when you just get bored? Like I haven't felt excited to put on makeup, so I went and I got myself some new makeup to be excited for, you know what I mean? So, how did everyone's New Year's go? We went, if you guys watch my vlog channel or my brother's vlog channel, my mom and Ozer came and stayed over at my place for two nights and the goal was to go walk to like Nathan Phillips Square in Toronto and we did we walked there so it's about an hour walk from where I live in Toronto and then we got there and then we realized it's just so busy <laughs> there's so many people so then we basically just decided to walk back which I did meet a few subscribers there so if you guys were there and you said hi thank you so much I was like full incognito though you guys could barely recognize me if you watched Uzar's vlog from the other night it, like I look like a boy like my hair was tucked in so the fact that you guys recognized me was pretty shocking to me and then we ended up walking back and while we were walking back it kind of like it hit midnight so we kind of did our New Year's in the middle of like a park and then um, that's it then we just went to sleep and then I'm so happy the holidays are over because I'm not somebody that like I just like that everybody's back on normal schedule, you know? I don't have to go on Instagram and see everybody's generic post of 2019 was the year that lifted me up but also broke me down and taught me so much about myself and all that kind of stuff, which I'm not like totally hating on it, but it's like every post was that, you know what I mean? And I don't, like it just got repetitive. So I'm happy that's done. I'm just a Grinch. I don't, I'm not a fan of the holidays. I don't like being forced 
to do things when everybody else is doing things, you know what I mean? So, so for concealer, I'm going in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid. This is so good. So good, and it's only nine bucks on ColourPop's website. So I use the color in medium 90W. I was watching Harusha's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I don't think she's just Kim Kardashian's, but whatever. And she was saying how she keeps her concealer on and lets it get tacky before she blends it out. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna kind of like place it where I want it to place. And then, by the way guys, I don't think I've announced this yet on this channel. I posted it on my vlogging channel. My fat loss challenges are back up. We start January 13th. I believe the course is about like 80% full. So I feel like we're gonna fill up before January 13th even comes around. So make sure you guys sign up. It's $15, everything is done from home. The only thing that you need is a skipping rope. I'll also put before and after pictures here of prior clients that have done the 30 day fat loss challenges. And I'm so happy that they're back up because I'm like excited. I'm not only gonna have these ones i'm gonna have boxing ones lifting ones gym ones i'm just super excited all around so make sure you guys sign up and if you have any questions you can always send me an email or dm me or whatever it may be leave it down below but yeah i'm excited and you guys can join from anywhere in the world because it's all done online so basically all you have to do is you log in on the day that the challenge starts and then you literally click the video that's there for the day and then you are good to go. You literally just follow along and work out with me. And it's all done from home. So for people who have new year resolutions, but you don't wanna go to the gym, but you still wanna lose some weight, this is a great way to get started. This is exactly how I got started when I was too nervous to start going to the gym. So last time, sorry, I'm like all up in your screen right now. So last time in my last video that I posted, it wasn't really a makeup tutorial. It was the one about my get, get ready with me, no. It was, yeah, it was a get ready with me. That one, I ended up using a concealer and uh, it literally made me look orange. So today I'm gonna use the Benefit Hula and let's just hope that this doesn't make me orange. So I'm just gonna lightly, you know, let's just do the nose cause why not? I never do my nose. I hope I'm doing it right. And under the lip and where the jawline is. Yas. And then I have this Huda Beauty little blending brush and we're gonna blend it out. Yeah, so join the fat loss. I'm excited that it started. We start literally in like less than two weeks, so I'm really excited. So that is happening. And then I have some really exciting stuff happening this year. Not even like, it's just me doing this stuff, if that makes sense. Like I, it's not like with a brand or anything. It's just me creating my own shit. I actually got my extensions put back in today. I don't know if you can tell. I saw my brother earlier. And he was like, what did you said you were at the hair salon for like three hours? Like, what did you even do to your hair? And I was like, uh, do you not see that my hair is like long? Guys don't notice anything, do they? So I went into Sephora yesterday because I actually ran out with my of my Huda Beauty setting powder. So I went and up went up and picked up another one. This is the Huda Beauty banana bread. And then I just like to tap it with the lid on because I feel like it gets out some product. And then we're gonna go in. I don't know why I'm talking like this, I'm sorry. We're gonna go in with my powder. And I don't really like to bake. I just like to put on a decent amount on both sides and then kind of blend it out. And then I also go around my nose. Recently, I'm finding that it gets all like weird in there. So I've been having to set it right in there. For the rest of my face, you thought I was done setting my face, but I wasn't. I use the Peach Perfect by Too Faced. It smells really good, it tastes really good. It's like really smoothing on the face. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like one of those powders that kind of make you look like airbrushed. Not super airbrushed, but like, you know, kind of. So I like to go in with this it's a little on the peachy side but you can't really tell on your skin so for bronzer what happened was that i actually was going to get a new bronzer and i got i picked up a dior one that rehab from sephora she uh recommended but what happened was that we accidentally picked up the same packaging but it was a highlighter instead of the bronzer so i don't really have like a brand new bronzer to try but i do have this smashbox contour palette that i really want to try i don't know if i've done, tried it before i feel like i have but it seems like the bronzer in here is a pretty cool tone so i'm just gonna mix the two you guys know the mark jacobs tantastic it's like my favorite i hope it's not coming out orange though i mean i'm sure 
you guys will let me know if it's coming out orange because in that video it's so funny because in my uh in the in the comment that i left in the comment section i literally said like i know the concealer is orange and then even in the video i said you guys the concealer is very orange but then in the comments everyone was like your face is orange and i was like yes i know i i told you this i was the one that told you who is the texting me Nobody, it's just a reminder. So I'm gonna quickly put on some blush and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm going to use this Too Faced How Deep Is Your Love Blush. There we go. I'm gonna blend it out still, but I'm gonna let it sit on my face for a second. I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows and I'm gonna do it, you guys know the drill, Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder and I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna work on our eyes now. And for eyes, I surprisingly have a new palette that I wanna try and this is, oh, to see. <laughs> Ooh, alhamdulillah. So this is the Fenty Beauty 5. So the theme that my friend, if you guys don't know, Manal is the one that got engaged. So she, her, her engagement party theme is like pastels. So I thought if I'm not going to wear colors, something like this would be nice. Like the little, the peach color over here is really cute. Let's go in with this color right here and then just kind of just put it in our crease and also in the outer corner. So I don't really care about if it gets on my lid. I'm gonna take a concealer after and kind of just put the concealer on top to make that cut crease effect. So I'm more worried about like how this outside part is going to look. Oh, blending takes work. I'm going to go into this Huda Beauty Rich palette and go in with like a darker shade just to darken out the outer corner. I'm also going to take this into the crease a little bit just to add some more dimension. So now I'm going to quickly hop in to the cut crease section. This part I'm a little nervous about, not going to lie. Grab Tarte Light Medium, Tarte Shape Tape, and then we're going to kind of just do one of these, you know? I'm a little nervous because I haven't done this in like forever. Let's do this. I'm a little nervous. So I think the trick was you put it on your lid and then you look up and then I think you follow that line. Why is my line so weird? So I'm not gonna do like a full cut crease. Like I don't wanna take it all the way down, but I want like, like up to where my kind of pupil ends. So I think that's good. Like I think it's good. I don't know, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna take a brush and kind of go over it with like um, a face powder. Cause I still don't know what I'm doing yet, but we will figure it out together, my friends. So I got these two brushes. I think I may use this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into that dark crease shade that we were using, this one here. And I'm gonna kind of line the outside of that concealer. I hope I'm making sense here. So I'm gonna kind of like do one of these, you know? Is that right? Am I doing it right? We got that. And then I'm going to try to blend it out even more with like very little of that product just to smooth that line out. I think that's good. Cause I'm gonna put the glitter right where this line is. So then I'm gonna go back into the blending shade and kind of try to feather this out right here. Lid, I think I wanna do like a shimmery shadow. Maybe this shadow right here. It's very, it's not too crazy, but it's pretty, looks like it has some shine to it. So I'm gonna go over here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm gonna go into like the center of the lid and pop this right here. And then because I need a little bit of like a transition shade, I'm gonna go into that peachy color that we had initially used and try to like merge this two, these two things together. I'm gonna take some silver glitter and what I wanna do is kinda line like right here, just half, half of the lid, all right? Do I like that? I think I like it. I think I put too much glitter, like it came too low. After the glitter dries, I'll use a brush to scrape off that part. Can you guys see? Can you guys see? Can you guys see? Did I do good? I'm gonna, I think I made the glitter from one side too thick. I don't think I'm gonna do eyeliner with this, but what I'm going to do now is go do the other eye and then we'll be back. Okay, so I just realized if you put this glitter on, 
Make sure it's fully dry before you move your eyes around because my glitter on my first eye just like transferred everywhere. For the bottom, I'm going in with this shade right here and just kind of blending it out. I don't want my bottom lashes to be too crazy. I prefer when my bottom lashes are just like, you know, don't have dark shadow. For my inner corner, I'm going to use that sh um, shimmery shade that we used on the lid and then I'm going to put it on a pencil brush. So I'm put it right here. So then for mascara, I'm using my Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. I really like this mascara. It is very nice. Remember, if you get mascara on your lid, just let it dry. Don't touch it. For lashes, you guys might want to stick around on my Instagram. I'm going to be giving away one of Senna's whole lash kit. Look how pretty this is. Isn't this so cool? I'm going to give I'm away on my Instagram post. So look for the Instagram video of this same look. So for my lashes, I'm gonna go in with my 905s from Sansa Beauty. Those are my favorite. I feel like they're the ones that suit my eyes the best. They're not too big, they're not too like fluffy. You can still see the eyelashes from underneath them. I mean, you can still see the eyeshadow from underneath them. This is how the box looks. And then this is these are the lashes. I do have to trim them to fit my eyes, so I will do that. And then we're gonna pop them on and be right back. Lashes are on. You guys can see these are so pretty. Like they're my favorite lashes from her line. They're like just, they're perfect for my eyes. They're so pretty. For lips, I'm gonna line my lips with Sore by MAC. Then for my lips, I'm gonna use Girlactic Spice and Bashful. Use my fingers to blend it all in. As an added touch, I have Whirl here and I'm just gonna darken the corners of my lips. Next thing we're gonna do is highlighter and I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Pro highlighter. I go into the middle one and just pop this on. I'm gonna quickly fix my hair, which I don't think there's much to fix. I just gotta kinda zhuzh it up a bit. I mean, you guys can tell that there's extensions put in, right? You know what really grinds my gears is the fact that this part of my hair is not blue, it's green. You guys said I don't do eyeshadow, I did eyeshadow, and I use new products. Go me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys sign up for my fat loss challenge before January 13th because it's coming up very soon. I'm excited to get all of this started because I'm getting back into the groove of things. I have a new website. It's literally bodmonz.com. I didn't even tell you guys that, but it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe here, my vlog channel, my entire family here on YouTube. My dad has a YouTube channel. Uzair has a YouTube channel. My mom has a YouTube channel. My brother and sister-in-law have a YouTube channel. So go check us all out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you you guys in my next video. Bye!